Maybe you want to give your client the option of paying in full, paying 50-50, or even a free month payment plan in your Dubsado proposal. Hi, I'm Sarah, and today I'm going to show you how to set up multiple payment plans in Dubsado proposals. The first thing to know is that you can only set this up if you are offering one package in your proposal. The second thing to know is that this does require a manual step of applying an additional invoice and payment plan. But don't worry, I'm going to show you step by step how easily this can be achieved in Dubsado. Hi, I'm Sarah, your go-to Dubsado specialist. I have been automating client experiences in Dubsado since 2019. I've worked with over 50 service-based businesses, and today I'm going to show you how to set up multiple payment plans in Dubsado so that you can be more flexible and give your client payment options. If you're unsure of what I mean by this, I'm just gonna give you a quick um, overview of what this would look like. So you would have your package, which, out, which outlines everything that is in that one package. And then underneath you would have your payment plan. So you would have a pay in full that they can choose, a 50-50 or a free month, or however many you can have, you can apply as many payment plans that you want to apply to the proposal. So this is what we're going to be looking at setting up in your Dubsado account today. What you're going to need for this setup. So firstly, you are going to need to create three separate packages for this um, package that you are using in your proposal. So package one is going to be the pay in full price. Package two is going to be the 50-50. So it's gonna be the first amount of the 50%. And package three is going to be the first amount of the split free payments so the first amount the second thing is to create free payment plans so the first is going to be paying full which is going to be after contract signed the second payment plan is going to be your 50 50 so this could be one month after the contract is signed or it could be 48 hours before project end date or before project start date that would really depend on your processes and then the third is going to be your three month split so it's going to be two payments this could be one month after the contract signed and two months after the contract signed so i'll go through all of these and then the third thing is to decide whether you are sending the proposal within a workflow or if you are sending the proposal manually so this means we either attach the payment plan to the workflow or we're attaching the payment plan to the proposal. So you need to decide where, how you are sending this and how you are going to deliver the proposal to the client to be able to know where we are going to attach that payment plan. Let's dive in. So the first thing that we are going to do is to add our packages. So I want you to go to the package section and then from here, we are going to add a new package. So the first package is going to be the pay in full. So I'm just going to call this package one. And then we are going to put in the um, description and the information for this package. So I'll call it package one. And then I'm just going to copy and paste um, some package information from a, from a website quickly. So, so I am going to put these as bullet points. So I just want them to be on separate lines. So this is quantity is going to be one. They're all going to be one. And then we are going to put the price and this is going to be the paying full price. So I'm going to put this as a thousand pounds. So once you've done that, you can add your category name, your category type. So this is, if this is wedding photography, you would put the category as wedding photography. You can put in your tax and whatever else you want to put in, but that's all I'm putting in for now. And then I'm just going to add the item. So then what I'm going to do is return to the packages and then I am going to duplicate this. This second package is going to be our 50-50. So you might want to put a name here and you might want to name it 50-50. 
And then this is going to be the 50% price. So this will be half the price at $500. So I'm not changing any of the any of the additional information. I'm just doing the price. Also for this, I would say to put the payment plan into the description. And the reason is for this, that means you don't have to customize the contract. So you will just be able to pull in the smart field of the invoice name and package descriptions, and that will have the payment plan on it rather than you having to customize the proposal every single time. So it will automatically be populated with all the content for you in your contract. So you might just want to put payment plan. And this could be 50% um, paid after contract signed and 50%. And you can put whatever it might be. It might be one day before the photography or you put your terms in here. You might also want to put the price, so 50%, and then you can put the price of however much it is. So the 50% in this case would be $500 paid after contract signed. So you, then you can put in your terms. So I would just outline this here and make sure to add it. Then again, you can add your category name, type, um, and all those things. And then we're just gonna save this. The final one we're going to do is for the free month. So I'm gonna go back into this, I'm going to duplicate it and I'm gonna make that final package. So here we go. Then I'm going to title it um, free month. And then you can change the price. So because this um, price is split over three months, um, if you're doing it this way, you might want to make it a slightly higher price because you're giving them that flexibility of paying over a certain time frame. So instead of free, free, free recurring, you might just want to do 335 or whatever it might be. Again, make sure that you are adding the payment terms in here. So um, like, like it would be the amount after, so you can put three, three, five, Um, paid after contract sign and then you might want to do one month after contract sign two month after contract sign so just put in the terms of the payment plan that you're going to be using here for this particular um, three month or four month or whatever it might be um, and then afterwards we're just going to select the category and then save item So now that we've done this, we can go ahead and create our payment plans. So I'm going to create a new payment plan and this one is going to be called um, pay in full. So what I want to happen is after the con after the proposal has been submitted, I want the contract to be signed and then I want them to pay their invoice straight away. So I'm going to do relative and I'm going to do naught days and from this drop down, I'm going to do after contract signed by client. I also want to put some reminders on this. So I want to do um, three days after due date. If you do before due date, it will be before the contract is signed and nothing's going to happen. So we want to do three days after the contract hasn't been signed. So if they submit the proposal and then they um, sign the contract, but they don't pay the invoice, this means that this invoice reminder will be sent to them. So then you can write a new canned email. You can select, I can put a couple of options um, in the blog post as well. So if you click down below and go to the blog post, then um, there'll be a couple of um, canned email options for you to use for this. So then I wanna hit apply. And then maybe I wanna do another one at seven days um, after. So if they sign the contract, they'll get this reminder. So I'm gonna put those in there. So that is the first payment plan that we are going to use in the proposal and whether you attach it to the proposal or whether you are applying it to a workflow, this is the, the main one that we are going to be using for each of these packages. Then we want to create our other two payment plans and the reason for this is we are going to do a manual step after they've paid and um, so we will go into the project and we will then apply the correct package and we will also 
apply the correct payment plan for that specific package. So I'm going to create a new template and this next one is going to be um, my 50-50. This is only going to have one um, payment plan attached to it. So, and this will be decided by you of what you need for your business. So it could be uh, determined at a later day and you can set a day when you are ready to do it, or we can do it as um, a relative. So it could be 48 hours before a project start date. Um, it could be one month after the contract is signed. So you can decide when you want that next payment to go out. So I'm just gonna do one month after the contract signed and I want them to pay this. So with these added reminders, we can actually do two days before the due date. So this will go out two days before the invoice is actually due, which would be due at one month after the contract is signed, because that's what I've selected. So I'm just gonna apply this. And then I'm gonna do another one, which is gonna go out one month after the contract is signed and then I'm going to do another two in case they don't do it so maybe three days after um saying it's overdue and then another one at seven days maybe you want to add something like some urgency um saying that there's going to be an additional fee added to your invoice if you don't pay today you can customize this however you want to do it so that one is set up then I'm going to do my third payment plan. So create a new one and this is going to be three months. I'm going to add two installments for this and for me I'm going to do one month after contract signed and two months after contract signed. You can do it whatever you want it to be. It could be 48 hours before project start date, one month after project start date. This depends on what you need for your business. But in this scenario, I'm just going to do one month after contract signed. So I'm going to do relative one month after contract signed. So that'll be the first, the second payment. And then um, you can do add your reminders as you want to add them. And then for the second one, it's going to be for the third payment that they're going to be making is going to be two months after contract signed. And again, you can put in your reminders however you want. Great. So we've got that set up. Let's um, dive back into the proposal and adding these to our proposal. So I've created um, a template proposal here so I can show you exactly how I'm going to do that. So I've already added this package here and what you can do is add your price in. So you can add total price here and put whatever it is. And then underneath is we're gonna, where we're going to add these packages. So I'm going to click on this icon here and I'm going to add in a package. And the first package is going to be that pay in full. So this is where you can really customize it. Um, I'm just going to center it to make it look a little bit better. Um, and you can also put in, um, because you have the information edited, uh, outlined up here, I wouldn't put it again in here. I would just literally put the price. So maybe you want to, um, customize the fonts and make it look a bit better so so it will pull through the names of the packages when we add the rest of the um packages so i'm just going to duplicate this and i'm going to put it through here and then i'm going to then edit the package so it's 50 50 And then I'm going to, so I don't actually want it to say that. So you can over, you can write over that, um, whatever you want it to be. So I'm just going to write it as 50, 50. And then I'm going to do the third package here. And I want this to say, um, three months. Um, and maybe you want this to say pay in full or pay in full. 
Perfect. So you might even want to add some text above this and just say, please choose your payment plan. And um, that's all you need to do for adding your packages. So this is all set and added the packages. Now we're going to dive into the form settings. So we are going to include, I will include the contract for this and it will pull over the smart fields. Um, I don't want multiple packages to be selected on this particular one because I only want them to select one payment plan. If you were doing something like duplicating this section, so we could duplicate this whole thing and you could have package one and then underneath you could have package two and you could put the payment plans for package two in here. So you can have more than one, but you just need to make sure that they're only selecting one, um, one package. So we always need to turn this off. Um, I do want to include the invoice. So they're going to sign the contract and then initiate and then pay the invoice straight away. And this is where you would decide whether you are sending this proposal directly to the client from the forms tab, or if you are sending it in a workflow. If you send it in a workflow, you can automate everything. You can automate follow-ups, you can automate um, actions after the contract is signed, you can automate a to-do to send to you to apply the invoice and the payment plan after they have paid this. You can, you can even automate to know in the to-do what payment plan they have selected so you get an email so you know exactly what they've purchased. So if you use it in a workflow, you get such a better experience um, and a client, a better client experience as well, because they'll be able to get their onboarding, um, onboarding forms, their welcome email, welcome pack straight away rather than you waiting and sending it manually. But for this purpose, I'm just going to apply it to the payment plan. Um, and there will be another tutorial tutorial video on how to automate your booking process but for this purpose I'm going to do the payment plan so it's going to be pay in full and then once that's done you can set an expiry date if you want to but that is everything so I'm going to save this form now and then I'm going to show you the next step of after they have decided which package they're going to select. Okay, so my client has completed the proposal, they've signed the contract, and they've paid their first invoice in full, but they have decided that they are going to choose the three month payment plan. So they have, they're safer, I know that they haven't paid, but <laughs> let's say that they have paid this, this invoice is complete, and now what we want to do is apply that next payment. So they're gonna have one month after contract sign, two months after contract sign. So the next step of what we need to do is click on invoice list, and we're gonna add a new invoice. So this is where we can add the package of the three month package. So they're actually paying for this. We need to, to edit the quantity here because it's gonna be two. So they've paid for one. So we need to add two quantity because they need to pay 670 remaining. Then we're gonna save the item and we're gonna add, add that payment plan, the three month payment plan that we have created. Perfect. So you can see one month after the contract is signed, this would populate a, a date when the con when the contract, because the client would have actually signed the contract by this point. But because I haven't gone through that process, it's not showing that. But this would show the date of one month after the contract sign and two months after the contract sign. So that is everything that you need to do. Now you just need to come out of this invoice list and make sure this is important that you make this primary. So these um because you've attached as well to the payment plans your um reminders that's important that you make sure that you do that so these invoices get sent out this will show all of the reminders that you have and it will show the dates that these are going to be sent out so that is everything that is exactly how you set up your multiple payment plans in your proposals in dubsado